Hey everybody, this is my review on my Leatherman Wave and the black oxide version. Um, I've had a few Leathermans in the past, um, none this size. I've liked them, but I've never liked, I felt like they were that capable. They didn't have pocket clips, they weren't big enough for me. Uh, they just didn't serve a good enough function for me. Um, I went with the Wave because of its size, uh, because you could have the pocket clip. Uh, you could also have the lanyard at the same time as the pocket clip, which I liked as well. And uh, the knives were accessible from the outside, and also the black oxide version appeals a lot more to me. Um, so the pocket clip, huge selling point for me. It's removable. Um, the lanyard attachment extends from the knife. Uh, it's right there. Um, it hides away. You can pull it out with a screwdriver. Um, I said all the knives are accessible from the outside. Uh, it was a huge selling point for me. Uh, you got your Warncliffe. Full serrated knife there. Um, doesn't really have a pointed tip, so you can kind of use it as a rescue knife if you had to. Kind of seat belts or clothing or what have you. Um, on the opposite side, you have your regular blade. Came extremely sharp. Uh, you could shave hair with it. Really impressed. Um, the knives actually lock open with a form of a liner lock. You can see there. Um, I think this is a great design. I'm really surprised they actually were able to incorporate that in there. I like that a lot. Uh, also, on the outside you have a file, which also locks rough side, smooth side, and a rough side for making notches right there. On the opposite side of that, you have your saw blade, which also locks open. Pretty damn aggressive. I like it. It works well. Um, on the outside here you can see your locks for the inside tools. Just press them down and it unlocks the inside tools once they're open. It opens pretty smoothly. Uh, big plier heads. Um, needle nose and your more of your standard pliers for nuts and bolts. And then you got your wire cutters there. Oh. I haven't tried out the cutters. I don't really do any electrical work. So, um, On the inside handle you have your typical Leatherman ruler that's extremely hard to use but may come in handy at some point. Um, here you got your screwdriver bits. I like them. They lock open. Uh, they're removable, double-sided, flathead and Phillips included. Just slide their back in. You can get a bit kit which includes more different sizes, hex and torques. Uh, like I said that locks open. Press that button and it closes. Also with next to the screwdriver you have your bottle slash can opener. On the opposite side you have a pair of scissors. Nice, They're very small but they work well. You can use them on like threads and such. Extremely sharp and they lock open. All the tools lock open by the way. Uh, you have a bigger flat head. Um, I suppose you could use it as a small pry bar if you really had to. Um, not sure if it would break or not. I don't think it would unless you put a lot of pressure on it. And finally, you have your uh, hard to get out. Your eyeglass screwdriver um, pulls right out. Same thing, Phillips and flat. I'm not sure how useful this would be if you don't wear glasses. I don't wear glasses, so I haven't found it very useful. But it's there. Um, it comes in the box with a clamshell. Uh, I got the box. I'm glad I did. I don't like clamshell packaging. But inside the box. Just comes with the instruction manual and the sheath. Um, I think it's a really nice sheath. I don't use sheaths, but uh, if I were to, this is the sheath that I'd want. It's uh, Molly compatible on the back. Um, hangs on your belt. You just rip that open, and there's a tool. Uh, it has a drainage hole so water gets in there. But overall, nice sheath. Uh, I'm very satisfied with this knife. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.